Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2013 Toyota Highlander. Now the most notable features on this Highlander is its power moonroof. You also have your power lift gate as well as your heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2013 Toyota Highlander. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Highlander is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just down below you're going to see your block heater. Over on the side you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your running boards and the other nice thing is you do have the body side moldings as well so the nice thing with that is if you're in a tight parking lot and somebody accidentally hits their door against yours it's going to hit the body side molding rather than the door itself. Now you also have your foldable mirrors, heated mirrors and up top you'll find your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is green. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your mirror controls, window wiper de your traction control on and off, power lift gate release, and then on the inside of your driver's side door you'll find your window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control scroll function, you also have your Bluetooth mode select temperature control, display, voice recognition, and cruise control. Now I'm just going to close in on the exact odometer reading just so you can see what's actually uh, sitting at. Now if we take a look over at your center dash as well as your AM FM CD player you're going to see a couple of different options. So when you hit the display button just on your steering wheel there, as you can see it's going to cycle through a couple of different options on there which include fuel economy, cruising range, and a couple of other additional features. You'll also find your temperature control settings on here as well. And at the very top there you'll see a digital clock and your exterior temperature gauge. Now down below you have your AM FM CD player, so when cycling through you'll also find your satellite radio as well. Down below you have your temperature control settings, so with the uh, temperature control settings when you actually adjust them, it'll actually be shown at the very top there what temperature you're actually setting it at. Now underneath that you'll see your USB and auxiliary with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, power outlet, matted to an automatic transmission. You'll also find your traction or sorry your downhill assist control with your snow mode and your another power outlet. At the very top there you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror with your digital compass and at the very top you'll find your integrated garage door opener with your sunglass case holder with an additional mirror on the inside just so you can keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving and you'll also find your open and close for your power moonroof. Now just to give you a quick idea of what your backup camera is going to look like, I'm just going to throw it into reverse there for you. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate, now located on the back of your tailgate. You'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release just over on your right. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now as you can see in that second row you do have your 40-20-40 split for that row there. Now if you do need the additional space you can have those seats folded down. You have a 50-50 split in your third row. You also have the cargo liner back here so the nice thing with the cargo liner is if you have any liquids back here and they actually, uh, sorry, accidentally spill out then it makes things much easier to clean up afterwards because you can actually remove it afterwards as well. Now to fold up the seat all you have to do is just pull on this piece here on the back of the seat. Headrests are just located right behind it. And then if you so desired, you can just fold down the seat again, just pull on this piece, and then push it forward into the floor. Now underneath, at the very front here, you'll find some under the floor storage space, as well as your uh, tonneau cover, which is nice because you can actually have it stored underneath the floor rather than taking it out and putting it into the garage and possibly needing it afterwards when you're hauling a bunch of car uh, cargo. Sorry. Now your spare tire will be located just underneath your rear bumper. And the other thing I like is that you also have that power lift gate as well. So when your hands are full of grocery bags or the kids sports bags, it makes things much easier for you to close up afterwards. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2013 Toyota Highlander, 
please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.